Son of a... My boat is leaning. Well, hey, everybody. It is your Greenhorn Captain, Jairz, back here again as we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some more fishing here in Fishing North Atlantic. Uh, just to catch everybody up, off camera, I did a little extra tuna fishing to bring up our funds. So we are currently sitting at $745,000. And when we left off, I said I was not sure that we were going to keep this boat, and we are not going to keep this boat. We're going to go ahead and we're going to purchase a different boat. The objective, again, of the series is to show you guys what the different types of fishing are that you can do in the game. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to purchase a boat within our means right now that we'll be able to use to do a couple different types of fishing for a little bit. So with that said, we're going to throw a lot into this uh, boat because I'm going to keep it for a bit. So, what we're going to do, head on over to the shipyard, take a look at the available boats, and right here, the Lenore, at 295,000 will let us do long line fishing, net fishing, deep line, and lobster. Lobster's not in season right now, but we can use this for net and long line. Uh, I think what we'll do today is we're going to do some net fishing today so we can do uh that the boat will hold up to 12 nets 75 meters and i'm thinking that based on that with even upgrading the storage of this boat i think 12 is going to be a bit much but i think what we're going to do is we're going to max the boat out with 12 and we're going to use that to kind of stagger how we how we're doing this so that we're always fishing so that's how we're going to, I think, we're going to handle this. As I said, I'm a Greenhorn Captain. I have no clue what I'm doing. And I feel like that will hopefully bring something interesting into this throughout our journey here as a commercial fisherman. And we're going to set this up to do some net fishing. And to make this even more fun, we're not going to do the tutorial. This is going to be fun. Um... The reason we're not doing long line right now is because I have done long line fishing when I played Fishing Baron at Sea, and I'll, that'll be the next thing. I just don't really want to, I, I just, I want to try net fishing. I never got a chance to try it. I didn't play Fishing Baron Sea long enough because I had like save issues that kept happening, kept corrupting my stuff. So we're going to upgrade our storage. We're putting money into this boat. We're going to keep it for a bit. We're going to upgrade our engine. Uh, we'll upgrade our radar. I really want to put autopilot on the boat, but I'm not going to do that for right now. So we're going to upgrade our sonar. We're going all out on this vessel. And we're even going to upgrade our buoys. Because why not? I put a lot of time into fishing for that tuna to get the money to do this, and we're going to do it. Unfortunately, Mr. Smith, I'm a greenhorn captain. You, sir, are a greenhorn, based on your rate. Your net fishing is... Well, there's a lot to be desired here. So... I think what we're going to do... Mr. Smith... You're fired. Sorry, sorry, I'm just... You're fired. We're going to upgrade our crew, now that we have an upgraded vessel. And, I don't know, I'm looking here at the 1.3, let's see how that is. And that's going to come in at 24,000, so let's, let's go with this. Let's go with Josh as our hire of choice here. We have a Pollock tip here. I may actually venture around to all the ports to get, like, different tips. Um, because with net fishing, you can basically fish Pollock, Haddock, Redfish, Cod, Mackerel and silver hake grab our fishing gear so we're gonna we're gonna max the boat out i'm going all out on this now with nets uh, i believe you have to do repair so it's different you're not buying bait you know we had to buy bait last time to do deep line we're not having to buy bait this time to recap we've got our crew we've got our boat completely upgraded new sonar new radar new engine our storage 
is upgraded, our buoys are upgraded, our searchlight is upgraded. And we've grabbed the tip that we've uh, had available to us here in town. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to venture on out. So let's take a quick peek here at our newest acquisition. There she is, is the Lenore. Nice, uh, nice size deck to work on there. Here's our wheelhouse. Got like an old timey uh, steering wheel there. Got our laptop. We'll go out to the front of the boat. We got a TV here. Let's head on out. So here is our. This is our gutting table for if we're gonna do like. Uh, long line fishing, for example. There's our nets. This is where we launch our nets from. Here is our net hauler, right here. And you can come up these steps, and there you go. Check it out. There's the top of the boat. There's our searchlight. Nice. This is our new boat, guys. The Lenore. So, enough hanging out in port let's get out of here shall we it's a nice summer day so we're gonna keep the door open get some of that nice sea air into the wheelhouse really opens up the sinuses so I hope you guys are having a good week It is, uh, we're recording this here on a Monday. Good old Monday. The holiday season is upon us. Hope you guys have, uh, been able to get out and get your shopping done. And hopefully you guys will have a chance to recharge, rest, and reflect on the year that was 2022. I hope you guys had a really good year as we get ready to uh, head into 2023. And we're going to be playing Fishing North Atlantic in 2023 here on the channel. Because I don't think I'm going to get through all the fishing modes before the uh, start of the new year. We're going to try to pick up any tips that we can here at the bar. I just I want to try to accrue... Okay, so we've got a Pollock tip from three days ago. We've got a Mackerel tip from three days ago. Silver Hake from about a week ago. And that's free, so we're going to take that. Decent tips here in Dennis Point. But, I, you know, again, like even with the Mackerel. You know, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to go with it. I'm going to grab these tips. We're going to do it because then I can have, then I've got like spots that I can look, look around and, and kind of get a sense of what we can do. Trying a different approach this time. So we've got some tips. Let's just see what we got. So there's a haddock tip from three days ago. Another mackerel tip from three days ago. A pollock tip from a week ago. So we'll grab like, we'll grab the haddock tip. We'll grab the mackerel tip, and then we'll get on out of here, and we'll actually start fishing back on out. Now, the thing of leaving Lockport is uh, there is this spot right here AI does not like leaving this port so we're gonna swing all the way out and all the way down son of a unbelievable we haven't even stopped we haven't set a net yet and this freaking fast travel 
ran me right into a freaking ah ah this game ah. my boat is leaning guys I went a little too far out when I set this a little too far out my boat is leaning so we're gonna head back I have to repair the boat I have to repair the boat I should have known better. I should have just not done any fast travel. That's my fault. So we're gonna go into Lockport. Before we can even set a, a one single net, we have to now repair the freaking boat. Because it just did damage. Boat is undamaged. Gee, thanks a lot. Uh, what I'm gonna do is get up here out of the chair. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna set get one of our nets to set anyway in case we come across something. Okay, so there you go. So our tip landed us where it landed us. It landed us on some fish, some haddock specifically. And what you have to do is you have to drive the boat as you're setting this and just kind of keep it straight. Keep it in the middle keep the thing straight because obviously when you go to set when you go to retrieve nets I believe you have to make sure that the the buoys are, are kind of lined up on the one you know in this they have to be kind of in line with each other in order for you to haul it so we've got a bunch of fish here we're just going to set we are going to set the goal is to come in with a lot of a lot of uh, stuff today. Bring in some money. Okay, so we've got some good activity here on the sonar. Mackerel. Haddock. Haddock is in season. So we've got some stuff there. So I don't know if we should just work this area first. And uh, see what we can get. Um, again, the goal is to, I want to set a half dozen nets. That's what I would like to do. I'm just going to kind of like carpet this whole area here with a bunch of nets and see what happens. If the sonars show an activity like it is, then let's try it. Okay. So you can see where we are right here. We have our first buoy in line, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set or move our time ahead. So we're at roughly, since we just set, we're going to move ahead 21 hours. And uh, let's take a look at the map. So we're roughly at 21 hours right here, and we should probably start hauling, because by the time we work our way around through this set of gear right here, um, you know, we'll, we'll be at like the 22 range, roughly, for the rest of the gear. We go ahead here and approach our first net. I botched it already. Let's back up. Backing up. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Another mini game. All right, I got a good on that. Not too bad. It says we have 11, so. I don't know. I don't know if that's, we could be probably doing better, I would imagine. In any event, I'll take the perfects that I can at least get. Ah! I don't want any of that. There we go. More of that, please. So while we steam to our next line, so it says here, here's our breakdown. So again, we had mainly haddock that was what we were focused on I should probably make sure we're not gonna overshoot the buoy okay, there we go let's see what we got here okay, we got 13 
pulled up on the net successfully on the first try. In five nets have hit the storage max on this boat. The problem is, is that if we have to run in, we're going to have to run in to offload. By the time I get back out onto the water, um, there's not going to be a lot of fish left in these net in these nets. So I set eight, and we are going to seemingly, possibly approach the storage capacity of this boat within five nets. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can bring aboard here. This is going to determine, really, the worst thing that would happen here is that we lose any fish. Um, either just like hauling this net. We have 13 here, so depending on how this minigame plays out. Well, we are probably, I, we're not going to be able to haul another net uh, with this right here. The question is, can I get back to port and get back out I, I'm not going to get back out where those those nets are still in blue and we lost 640 kgs of fish because our storage is full our storage is full and we still have three nets or no, four nets in the water so yeah I definitely overset uh so I think for the sake of proximity here, we're just going to head on over here to the closest port, regardless of what they're selling at, so that we can get back out faster. We're getting average prices here. With the crew share, it'll come in at 69372 for this particular load of fish. So we'll go ahead here. We're going to get right back out. And now our stuff is hit green. It was blue, it's now hit green. We just have to bring aboard what we have and we still get, we're gonna get something, but it's not gonna be what it was. Yeah, see, we're only at five now. So, I mean, we're, we're getting something out of this haul, but at least you know if you, if you, I mean, we did really, that was some really good fishing to pull in our, our boat storage max within five nets. Now it's just a matter of trying to get what we can from the gear that we still had in the water. Okay, there we go. I think we're only getting about six here, where obviously we were getting more before. So we know now it would be better to just set what, you know, set a, a lower number of lines, of, of nets rather in this case, and um, you won't need as many. But it would definitely, what it does show me is that if you have a good set, you know, you could, when you're getting ready to haul those five or six, you could have a dozen on your boat, set another bunch, and then go and do what you got to do, and then come back and you'll have more, more there. We're just trying to salvage what we still have in the water from our previous set. We definitely set in a good place. That was not the issue. Once again, fast travel got me. Once again, it got me. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me. Get by this boat. I love how the game can like literally cause damage to your boat. It's like, oh, you want to fast travel? Yeah, because I don't want to take forever to s freaking steam out to a spot. Are you sure you want to fast travel? Are you positive you want to fast travel? Okay, so we got some silver hake showing up. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and drop a net here. My waypoint is set more towards where our other nets are, are currently set, but I just, I want that $100,000 day, guys. Let's get that $100,000 day. We're close. All right, here we go. We got a, we got a decent amount. We got 13. 
So remember with these, these are at like the 21. We just set a bunch of, of other out, you know, other nets out, but these are all, the timing of those is, is different from these. So we'll see what these two uh, nets bring in. Because that would determine whether we actually make a run into port or not to sell off what we have here so that we don't max out. We're getting perfects though. This has been a good trip. Good trip so far. I don't know. Sometimes that does not catch when you click. I, I clicked on it. I know I clicked on it. I don't want a perfect. All right, there we go, 4,400 kgs. What is going on over here? Huh, that's a problem. guys what's uh what yeah yeah that's a problem okay okay so uh <laughs> wow Well then. Um Oh, okay. Well, this is, this is something that I didn't expect to stumble upon. And here we go. Here's our last haul. Let's see. We got nine. And we lost fish. We lost 307 kgs. But we've maxed out our boat. That is a good place to be though so we're gonna head over to Yarmouth you can see fish prices here at the different ports so we're just gonna go to Yarmouth and uh, we're gonna sell off our catch so we got 73,000 and everything, they, they have an above average price for both mackerel and pollock still here, so we're going to sell it here. So, to recap, we started today with 745000 before we purchased the Lenore. And with all our upgrades and everything, with our new crew member... We're sitting at 447,000. We came in with two full boatloads today. Go into our sales. So we had 73,000, we had 30,000, and we had almost 70,000 here. So that's a good day, guys. Good day. We should rename the boat. Should we change the color? Should we do anything to this boat? So we're going to have it for a little bit. Although I'm starting to see that maybe the quote, you know, the storage size, that's obviously becoming an issue. So we'll have to do something about that. But anyway, 
let me know down in the comments what would you like to see for the name of the vessel. And I thank you very much for watching. This is Jairs. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.